Today I'm going to be making a video on a couple of things. First thing is going to be the new camera that I'm using. I explained in one of my last videos that I actually upgraded cameras. When I first started off with the whole YouTube journey, I started off with a Canon ADD that I got from my friend Brandon for a really good deal. I ended up transitioning from that mirrored system over to the Canon mirrorless system with the Canon EOS RP. That was a great camera. I used that camera from 2019 till earlier this year, 2024, where a couple weeks ago, I actually upgraded to this camera here, which is the Canon EOS R6. Honestly, I'm loving the camera so far. It's definitely a huge upgrade from what I was previously using. With the Canon EOS RP, I was only able to shoot up to 4K. It, it was either 24 frames or 30 frames, but it had a crop and it didn't have really good autofocus. So it was basically unusable. It did shoot some really good 1080p footage though, all the way up to 60 frames per second. Uh, which was really nice. But going into this, you know, new year and, and, and trying to double down on the content creation, I figured I should upgrade my camera just so I could get the best quality for my price range right now. So I was actually able to, you know, go off and sell the Canon EOS RP and then use those funds to purchase this new camera. And so far I'm loving it. I gotta put a hat on because I look crazy. This isn't gonna be like a technical review or anything like that. The RP is still really, really good for vlogging if you're just a daily vlogger person, but I see a lot of hate in the comments and a lot of reviews of this Canon EOS R6, and I wanna sort of shed some light on that and you know, basically prove that this camera can be used if you're just a vlogger who wants to have really nice footage. The biggest thing that people have an issue with or that they're scared that they might have an issue with is gonna be like the overheating of the camera. Quite honestly, this camera has not overheated on me once, and as just a normal day-to-day -day person who uses this camera to shoot videos randomly or, or who has a video idea in mind and wants to film something, it's not a problem for me. I haven't even ever seen the record limit go down past like 10 minutes for me, and I've never seen any sort of warning light about some overheating or anything like that. So like I said, not a technical review, not a technical review. I'm not a technical reviewer. I'm not a camera guru. I'm not, I'm none of that. I'm an enthusiast. I'm a video enthusiast. I guess you can say. I nerd out over these sorts of things and I take time to sort of research and understand what I'm gonna use before using it. And I just use the stuff. We're gonna talk about the R6 and how it's great for me and how I like to use it to vlog and how you might be able to use it to vlog too. And the second thing that I wanted to talk about before we actually get into sort of the recap of my weekend and the video that I wanted to post, a little compilation of like the stuff that I've been doing is to actually talk about these mics. So I'm actually using the Rode Wireless Me system. This is what the transmitter looks like. I have the receiver on top of the camera right now. The cool thing with these microphones is they're sort of like Rode's entry level to their wireless microphone system. You know, watching reviews and videos on YouTube about different microphone systems, they can get pretty costly. Even like the upgraded version of these, which is gonna be the Wireless Go 2s, those ones are $200. The difference with that is it comes with two transmitters and a receiver and it does more stuff than these do. They don't record it internally. They have to be recorded into whatever media you're filming on, whether it be your camera, like how I'm using right now, or your cell phone or your computer. You have to record the audio and bake it into the videos. Whereas with the other ones, you can record externally and directly onto the microphone itself. I don't have that luxury you know, with purchasing these, but that's okay because I really don't anticipate myself using these too often. I had a situation where I was doing a talking head video similar to this one, and uh, the room that I was in, the audio from the shotgun mic just was picking up all the echo and everything, and it just didn't sound pleasant. So I figured I would figure out a microphone solution that is one, affordable, and two, that can still deliver, you know, crisp and clear audio uh, for you guys, so that way the videos sound good. And luckily I was able to find that with these. Like I said, they are cheaper than the Rode Wireless Go, 
shows and you do sort of lose some features with you know the lower price tag but for me in my use case right now it works perfectly fine Overall, I think these sound awesome. I think they're really cool and give me the opportunity to, you know, be in different places um, and, you know, be a little bit more creative with my workflow when it comes down to making these videos because now I can get audio even if I'm not directly in front of the camera, which is what I had to do when I was using, you know, this. This is the Rode Video Micro. This one's tiny. It fits. It was perfect for when I had that Canon RP because that camera's body is so small. And then using the 16 millimeter pancake lens it was just like a super easy vlog setup and really nice combo to have but now with these it gives me the flexibility like i said to be a little bit more creative when it comes down to you know framing shots because i don't necessarily have to be in front of the camera for you guys to hear me which i think is great but yeah so that concludes my sort of little rant review whatever you want to call it on both of these things Canon EOS R6, I think is an amazing value for uh, the price. And then these microphones here, you can get them um, anywhere online. I got these at Target, but yeah. So that concludes that. What we're gonna do is just hop straight into this last like week and a half. So after, you know, coming from the hospital, helping my friend Brandon out with, with the situation that we were dealing with the other day, you know, going into the weekend, hanging out with the kids, spending time, taking the car to the car wash, you know, just doing the family thing, you know what I mean? Super appreciate you guys for watching and sticking around. I will catch you guys next time. What's going on y'all, D-Dot here back at it again with another one. Right now, I am currently on my way to the car wash. About to get my car washed, clean it out really quick. Had a pretty cool weekend this weekend with the kids. Got a couple things done around the house. But yeah, overall, just family time is always good time. You know what I mean? Um, had the opportunity to hang out with my sister for a while. We put up some TV mounts at the house to hang up the kids' TVs. I have to buy another TV for the living room because I don't have one. And so I'm using Adrian's TV in the living room right now but that's no big deal uh, we'll get that situation sorted out here soon i mean it is a couple weeks left until my trip to new york uh next week is valentine's day too so i have to you know brainstorm on what i want to do uh this upcoming week just to make it a little special got a flat tire <laughs> nice and chilly outside right now about to go pick up my sister from her house we are gonna go to Costco or not Costco we're gonna go to Sam's Club today I'm gonna make some fried chicken wings a little later and I have to get some other stuff too just made it to Eliza but it's not even ready bro can never rely on her to be ready on time I'm waiting for Eliza we're gonna go to Sam's get some stuff to make food later and uh, yeah All right, so we got back from the store. Eliza and I, we ended up getting all the stuff that we needed, or most of the stuff that we needed from Sam's for the chicken wings that I was gonna make today. I went to go pick up Adrian, and then we ended up going to Rayleigh's again uh, just to get the final ingredients. And now we're sitting here, we're about to play this murder mystery. I love these things, they're really cool, they're super immersive, and I like all the little things that come with it. They put a lot of time and effort into making these things feel like you're actually completing something and actually doing something. Well, I got the chicken wings cooking, frying right now, they take a while. Wow, so we got some time to kill. I ended up deep frying the chicken and then I'm finishing them off in the air fryer now just so that I can get a little crispier, a little quicker. So it's like a hybrid chicken wing, half deep fried, half air fried. But I threw in some fries. 
uh, into the deep fryer so that way they can get nice and crispy. I want to do that because the chicken's gonna take way too long and I had to do it in batches. So yeah, I just wanted to get the chicken done and out of the way. I'm being such a handyman today. Ugly. <laughs> we brought these little mofos to the park to get them out of the house. Yeah, I don't want to be here. It's fucking cold. We should have brought him to Wacky Tacky. I ripped the shit out of my lip again. Like, extremely bad. You jumped off of there? Again? Do it again. Just leaving the store right behind me. I've never been there before. I don't like it. It's too cluttered. The store seems very, well the word is ghetto, but it's not ghetto, it's just like cluttered. It's underwhelming, but it's also like overwhelming. Yeah, no, it's like random stuff put together. Like they try to organize it, but then like they really just missed. What store did we just come from? Ghost Island Dog Market. Renters insurance? Oh, you need people who rent need insurance too? Yeah. That oh my room. god. That's tragic. Bring a let's bring a mobile DVD player. Yeah, love you bye. <laughs> So right now, uh, we're at Home Depot because I have no fucking tools to do a job. Simple job, just hanging the TV. So now I'm about to buy the entire DeWalt suite of tools. Some needle nose pliers, guys. Seven bonus there. Right? To do the trick. I've seen a video, I've seen a video of them and they were, uh, B roll. 